Hi guys! Last month, I planted kangkong seeds and they are now ready for harvest. I grew up eating kangkong in one of my favorite dishes called sinigang. So, when I had the chance to buy kangkong seeds, I knew I wanted to try growing these as well. There are two types of kangkong. The first is upland. It has narrow leaves and it is usually grown in soil. While the second one is lowland kangkong, it has wider leaves and it thrives growing in water. If you take a closer look, you'll notice that this variety has narrow leaves. So yes, this is an upland kangkong variety and it is getting taller by the day. You can also see some funky ones dangling here. My pair of scissors is ready and the stalks, well, I'm not sure they're gonna like what's coming next. But before that, I do want to share that growing kangkong is very easy. Even if you didn't have any experience in gardening before, you can definitely grow this vegetable. Some few things to remember, even if your container is just two to three inches high, you can definitely grow kangkong. They have shallow roots, but it's amazing how tall they can get. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Another thing to remember, you may want to add some nitrogen fertilizer to your soil, maybe every two weeks. This will help the plant grow its leaves. Lastly, protect your kangkong, especially because you want to eat this part all the way to the top. And if we're not careful or we don't check up on them every now and then, there may be pests lurking around these stalks and eventually you'll just see your leaves getting more and more damaged. So there you go, some few tips and now we begin the harvest. What we want to achieve now is to grow more shoots from the same stalks. What we should be looking for are leaf nodes and you can see them here. This is one and this is another and you can see these leaf nodes in the stalks around so it's ideal for us to cut just above at least two leaf nodes so in this case these are two i'll be cutting it here this is similar to how we prune basil and other herbs so when i cut it here the plant's energy will now stop there since there's nothing up anymore and the plant will then be encouraged to produce new shoots here and in the other leaf node. Okay, here we go. So for this guy, this is one, two. Then for the one behind it, you can chop it here. And it's pretty much the same for the others. This is the aftermath of their haircut. And this is my first Kang Kong harvest. Not bad, not bad. I hope you guys can try growing Kang Kong as well. And if you have any tips on how to treat them or how to maintain the plant, feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys! This is Nicole and remember, anyone can garden.